I'm glad you like my fashion sense. <laughs> It, it's very circa 1998. I did it. Can you dig it? Yes. Most of these characters are people we've known and are happy to see again. Could you introduce our uh, viewers and readers to your new character? Sure. Hi, guys. I'm Barla B, and I play Sheba. And who is Sheba oh. to the prison, <laughs> prison Break crew? Google it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, don't take them away from our sites just yet. <laughs> no, that's right. Um, hi guys, I'm Barbara. My relation Rose is a Yemeni activist who links up with Lincoln and his keynote and helps get Michael out of prison and out of the So this, you know, this, the telling of the story is kind of based around the Odyssey. Um, you know, not you know based on Homer and things like that. Does your character have any amalgamation to any physical yeah. characters? Does she have? A, I don't know if they're going exactly like character one or character, but does she have one, or would that be a spoiler? I, I don't know if it would be a spoiler, but I definitely don't think that Sheba came from the Odyssey. <laughs> she comes from a whole other planet. Um, I, I, I think that Sheba is just such a, a real necessity to try to get someone out of a world that you have no connections in and you have you have no knowledge of. And so um, Sheba was just someone they needed that knows the streets that knows the people, that can get you a phone, that can get you on a plane, that can get you out of prison. So, um, you know, hopefully she can help them out. And she's, at least in some of the episodes, in a prison of her own sometimes, isn't she? That's a, that's a great way of putting it. Um, I think I agree with that. I think I agree with that. I think that a lot of people in the Middle East uh, feel that way. And wake up to a reality they wish could have been a little uh, simpler, but within the constraints of her world and the difficulties, she is able to find ways to make herself stronger and push through and fight harder. You know, it makes her who she is. Do you get to do a lot of action and fighting and chasing? It's prison right. <laughs> There's a lot of action. Now, playing an Arab character, obviously they had to teach you phrases and a couple of other things. You know, did you have to work with an accent coach because Yemeni is very different than Saudi or, or yeah. Qatar or any of the other places? Well, yeah, yeah Yemeni is, is, um, Yemeni is very different from any other language I've spoken before. But my grandma, who's from Morocco, from Marrakesh, she spoke Arabic around the house, uh, which is very different again. Um, but I linked up with a, um, a voice coach when we were there and we made sure that everything that I was saying um, sounded proper and God, I hope I sound okay, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. But we tried, we tried to be as authentic as we could. So you're coming into this cast a little bit later than everybody else um, and I'm really interested to hear who you think is most likely to escape from in real life. Who is most capable of the cast members? That's a fantastic question and by far without a question in my mind is um, Rodman Dunbar okay. because he is so charming and lovable. <laughs> And he's huge, like he can get out of any situation, whether through force or just by charming him, like <laughs> smoothing his way out. Perfect. How difficult was it to come into a situation where it's like a family reunion for everybody else because they've all worked together so long and you're essentially the new kid, like yeah. you're the in-law that married into the family essentially. <laughs> That's not a bad situation, <laughs> let me tell you, because everything's established and, you know, the, the fans already love the show and there's so much love and support behind it and it does feel like they are a family unit that have worked together in the past, so everything's working, everything's already in place, you just have to kind of come and enjoy the ride. Um, so it was great for me and, and I got really lucky because I, I teamed up with a group of great people who were very welcoming and open and I felt really safe. So it sounds like Sheeta has some amazing skill sets that she probably learned from doing many different things in her 
past. So after she helps them escape from prison, what is it that compels her to stay with them instead of going to pursue and do other things? I think first of all, um, seeing out. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I think first of all, Sinod and Sheba have um, a very strong bond and um, trust relationship that um, you know keeps her focused and um, and help, like keeps keeps her focused on helping. Her. I think. Her and Link um, have a, an interesting bond that makes her stick around. And I also, well, I can't, I can't give away too much, but um, you know, uh, every, everyone has their in, interests, and um, she, she needs, she needs help too. So you have to tune in and find out. But they each get their own. Now you said your grandmother was from Marrakesh. Yeah. Did you show her any of the stuff that you've been working on with this, or take any notes from from her about things that happened in Morocco from her life growing up there? My grandma, may she rest in peace, <laughs> um, has passed, but um, I'm sure she would have been just so excited and thrilled to to know that um, I got to go where where she is from and um, film there and tell the story. And um, I talked to my mom a lot while we were there, and um, I was hoping that she would come and visit, but it's such a nice <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite scene that you've shot so far? Is there one specific scene you can think back on that you think people are going to just have their jaws left on the floor? I don't know if what was um, impactful for me would be as impactful for the audience. You know, different different moments in, in the production were stand out for me as something memorable. Um, I remember we were filming a scene in Morocco between Sheba and her father, and it was so incredibly hot that day. <laughs> And I had, um, um, and it was so dusty and like, and, you know, and it's Morocco, it's like, you feel like you're going to die. You feel like you're going to pass out all the time. And then there's a camera in front of you and action. Um, and all, all I remember was how intense that scene was. And I would run out in the toilets. Uh, I bought a bunch of pencils and crayons and, you know, coloring books. And the school next to us just like rang its bell and everyone finished school. So I would run in between takes and give away whatever I had to the different kids. And so I tried to kind of balance those. It was really important for me to connect with the villagers. So it was, it was such a, a beautiful day. What was your audition for Prison Break like? Did, did they at least give you real scenes, or was that uh, did they give you fake scenes so you didn't know the plot too? I actually didn't audition for this. I worked on the show, which was a show. We shot um, a TV show called Game Related for Fox. So I worked with Fox, and I worked with them in the past. And when they wrote this role for Chiba, um, he, he brought me up as an option. And that was it. Paul was like, yep, that's the girl, that's Chiba. It's very, very, very lucky. What was it like shooting in Morocco and actually getting to be in the well, not the but getting to be in that situation where you have that sensation of feeling so you can have the wind blowing around you? Dust Did that kind of help you get into the character? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Or that are surrounded by um, another character of the show. Um, you know, ev everything about it, the way you walk into a room when you're uh, exhausted and, and out of breath and um, sweaty and delirious is completely different from how you would walk into a room if you're in Los Angeles in a, an AC studio, you know, like, it's, it's a completely different environment, and, and I, I think it helped us create a very organic um, space for the show. Now, your character is supposed to be very cunning and very sneaky in, in a sense. 
you know, what's something about you personally that you brought to that role? Because as a kid, you know, we all got away with stuff, uh, you know, pulling the wool over all our, uh, pulling the wool over the, our parents' eyes and stuff. So what's a bit cunning about you that you, you know, use to your advantage to get away with things? Whatever you need. Oh. <laughs> um, I, I... I don't really know how to answer that question uh, without throwing myself under the bus. But um, don't worry, your dad and like three million other people will see this. So. <laughs> 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 um, so I guess I guess everyone can be a little bit conniving sometimes, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I, I think you. I, I sometimes I use my charm mm -hmm. to distract so that I can get the job done. But who doesn't? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you.